your thoughts on Magnus? As we're going to see, oh, RR. Yeah, RR is in quite a bit of trouble. He will be taken out. It's going to be first blood going the way of IG as Kaka. And he will be caught by the Wraith Fire Black Wolf. Good All sticks. Right. Not enough. Not nearly I enough. But JT, again, that cliff. I mean, he just showed that he's going there, so they will be communicating on the other side that that rune's definitely gone. That's fair. It's Kaka. Oh, Kofi will actually proc vacuum. Oh, good vacuum. Was enough to save him he's for done. now, but Kaka oh, Sal. Sal comes in as well, and it's oh, very close, but he will tumble. RR in the meantime getting chased by JT in this ion shell. Does he have vacuum? Cold feet again. Oh, and vacuum has like a, a two minute cooldown basically. He's just chasing down Palos right now. Under the tier one, he's gonna get the kill. Probably worth, but a double kill for Vincenzo, and I believe he's just going to carry now. Remember how to say his name, because it was specifically uh, threatened to us, I believe, by their man. <laughs> oh, Blackfly pops that blade here. He looks like he gets the kill, but will he survive? The healing war comes out. BDZ trying to chase it down. It might be his demise. See if they can find him, though, as the healing war will make its way around. So. It's a nice regen here. To the tower. Suicide Whoa. to the tower. So four to four. If you can pull it off like that and you have a player on it, I think the hero is great this patch. Like you said, the axe is one of my favorite eggs of the game right now. I think it's very, very strong. It's your great timing. Fly, fly. Yep. Nico getting chased down. He's dead, shot. actually. Looks like the blade here should be enough with that last right click, but there's the coil rotation from Yoe. And a nice toss out of the break. And Yoe takes that kill for himself. So at least they get something. Bottom lane, they're going to see a tiny rotation. This is probably going to be a very unexpected play for IG. They are not ready whatsoever for yeah. this. Great fire blast into the cold feet, but really? just out of range for JT and that surge. There's the Avatos back into the fray. Impel comes out, but Kaka looks like he'll end up dropping here to the last right click of RR. So nice rotation. He's level six. Oh wow, that's yeah, that's an ice blast. Coming out, doesn't look like it'll ready to go. Oh, they're going to find Nico. I mean, he's pretty tanky, but you have three members of IG here. And they're going to oh, expend okay. RP on top of that, just in case, into the skewer. <laughs> My kill. I mean, he wants to double check. You know, he, He's like, I'm close to blink. Let me just get that out there. No, the thing I love about that is not that he only skewers it. He skewers him so far away into the tower, they almost got his team out of XP range. That would have been pretty cool. Coil waning rift, though. So they end up trading here. We're going to a couple times, but with Empower, he's going to be able to obviously farm that up again pretty, yeah. pretty oh, quickly. Good see skewer. the skewer in. And the Impale to stop things out, as the Avalanche was the only spell able to be used there from from BDZ. So yeah, 1k now. Tier 1 tower though, first tower of the game. Goes the way of Execration. Even though the Axe has been killed twice, he still gets a 12 minute tower. That's not too shabby. Yep. And uh, we'll be bottling up the Arcane Rune here. Or he's actually oh, fading emo. Beautiful. Coil into the A, but not even needing that A ult. But a big kill onto emo, and they'll turn this into a tier 1 tower in all likelihood. If Kaka perhaps can get the denial, though, TP support is coming. And yeah, the Spike Carapace won't be there in time, and the Static Storm will completely whiff as Yoe is just super aggressive past the tier one tower. Even the Raid King has come to play. They're gonna find two kills off the top of that. Just aw awesome play from Yoe there. So first of all, he got uh, yep, armlet exactly what you asked for. Very, very happy to see that choice. Well, he's gonna find the entirety of IG. They're Skills is all one life. Yeah, he's on the toggling pretty well. That's gonna be one life. Help it, help level it. one, static storm on top into the kinetic field. There's the Omni Slash. And she gets it onto the AA, so that's probably the best case scenario for execration. Now the TP support comes Yahweh with that coil. Keeps everybody in place for now, but now he's the one in trouble. It's like they'll find him with that skewer. Glimpse. The toss back in with the glimpse, so they end up having a little party there as BDZ. Ends up being the third dead for Execration. It looked pretty good when they... They're actually tied. Wow. Today I learned. Okay, Thank but, you, Cinderin. But you're still technically correct. It's just it's tied from Lons, maybe. Oh, oh, Emo with the RP into the skewer. Oh, oh the call. Oh, the three into the A. Oh. Big wombo combo. Holy. IG getting decimated in this fight as Kako will be the third to fall. It ended up being a great... Right, so you're, you're able to... Probably hit a really strong timing here. They're gonna smoke. Okay, oh. Vincenzo breaking that. He's gonna die, but that's I mean, that is added. mega worth. If he's the only one that dies here. I'm well, gonna see the call here. Onto the Nyx Assassin, but the wall put in place oh, by JT into the mist and pale. Nico, he's very healthy. Kaka, not so much. Looks like he'll be chased down. Likely will be called here. Oh, they failed the call. Yeah, they oh, missed boy. it, but they kill him in the end, I believe. His A is taken out. Wraith King, that's the first ult into the RP. Juggernaut still alive. Gets off the blade here at the last moment. Doing a really good job of kiting all this damage. And Palace is going to be taken out in quick succession, but it's going to be a trade. They do get the Juggernaut yet again. 
goes in, play with a lot of freedom, and not get counterplayed. Uh, I think other players would go, oh, he's oh, he's guy with the impale. Doing the bottle with the vendetta just to make sure that he gets it into a static storm. A blast is coming. Looks like Axe will fall in addition. So two for nothing to start things out. And BDZ looks to be next on the list as Fly Fly comes into the fray. This is literally all five members of IG. And a triple kill for Emo, so he ensures that he gets the farm yet again, Cinder. And this, I feel like this is almost like a steal of Roche, because now that Desso's online for Wraith King. In a way, uh, he's even getting zoned off here by Kaka. Misses the Carapace timing. Yeah. He's actually in trouble now. He might die, but this could be the death of Palos instead. Submit. As he gets skewered onto the other side of the map, and his ult is up right now. This? So that'll be death number one. And now the TP support in the corner of Execration with a big glimpse back. Looks like they'll find the AA Blast at the very least to take out the Juggernaut yet again. And Super will follow. And the Coil applied to the Darkseer. Has Surge in a moment. See if he can get away with just this. Wraithfire Blast will connect into the Uzu Orb, into the call, and a nice turnaround for Execration. And this could... Yeah, I, that, that, that's a great nerf. I think you should be on the Ice Frog beta testing team. I think so, too. I see a call. A Blast is coming. That is he's, not a connection. He's going to dodge it, yeah. Perhaps expecting some TPs a little bit earlier. Nico's going to get glimpsed back into the kinetic field, and with the BKB, Emo's able to clean him up pretty easily. A little bit messy here. Yeah. From both teams, like, IG's mistake of Roche, this was a... Already. Uh, wow. I mean, they, they have mana for him. Yeah. He's, he's protecting him, oh. basically. Oh. Fly Fly. A blast. Fly Fly's gonna pop his blade fury. Here comes Emo. That is a big kill onto the axe to start things off. The first slice for Palace about to come out. He's actually surviving a little bit longer. And there's a coil onto Nyx Assassin. Omni Slash to follow. Fly Fly trying to beat down BDZ. Is this finally the RP's reserved just for Puck? Will it be enough? Indeed it will. Three for one. They killed the Nyx Assassin to start the fight, but it's gonna cost them four of their members. IG. Guy is super legit. That's oh, such a cool they're game. gonna find. Oh, this is a problem. Yeah. They can actually just run him down. Yeah, nobody really near. A couple people TP in. Nico with the attempt in the call. Two heroes there. Ray King will get his first life expended. RP being faked out. Nico's gonna be a pretty easy kill to clean up now. And I believe with that, IG is just gonna fall back. But Puck buys back into the game, and that's actually what's predicating this this fallback for IG. Yep. But they can still reset. They have healing wards, so they're nice and healthy. They only lost Disruptor. Yeah, and they still have RP. They, I mean... Yeah, they're strong they, positional advantage. They're still very strong with the RP ready. And... Oh, they follow. find it. His ult is coming back, though. Not sure if they're timing this. There's the Bloodthorn. Coil to follow, though. And Emo pops the BKB. They're just going to pound him on Palo. So that's one death. It's going to cost Emo his life, though. Now Kaka in a precarious spot. As Palos is going to come back to life and just beat him down with his stick. That's a stick, by the way, not a sword. It's a new cosmetic. A fly fly on now on the run. I'm starting to see a pattern here, Shannon. It's almost yeah. like when they go on Wraith King. Yeah, so this protects him against the RP. But if he gets RP, now he can just get Static Storm. Yeah, true. So I, I don't know. I don't think this is the best choice. Yeah. Okay, Axe is going to jump in. All the pressure is going to be applied to him. A big RP on the three. Oh, no. Into the Blade Fury, into the Static Storm kinetic field combination. Axe and Tiny buyback into the game. Puck will not have that luxury, though. Wraith King, that's the first line. I mean, IG is still pretty healthy. Omnisite hasn't even been used yet, but what's going to be used on a lot of the skeletons here. The appear on the background trying to keep IG at bay. And I believe that is the... Oh, finally the Omni Slash comes out, and Nico's going to take the brunt of the damage. So, Wraith King finally dies, and it costs IG nothing. Only cooldowns. Thanks. You just get used to. This Fly Fly on the doorstep of Execration. Of course, this is a two-game series for the wildcard, as Emo is not going to be able to get that... That skewer going. That would have been a potentially game ending skewer. They were not in a position to help Wraith King there at all. Axis top. Yep. His teammates were all the way deep in the base. Good spin into the instant silence from the Mindbreaker. Yep, that's good stuff. It's a nice little combination. Uh, Puck has kind uh, of compromised his position he, entirely against yeah, Static Storm. Hello? The blood Thorn. He had to use it up, and now the Static Storm comes into play. And this does proc with a double impale into the Omni Slash. Or probably a Swift Slash, for all I know. They're going to be able to take out the Puck, and they know he does not have buyback. And there's the RP on the two. This should be GG as IG taking this pretty convincingly after kind of a, I want to say, a big back and forth for the first 15, 20 minutes. That. That is why I didn't like Anthus very much there. At least if you make that play, right? Like right. The, mo the moment you're in and you're relying on your Anthus to save you, you're against Static Storm. You're just gonna die. Yeah, like, true. There's, there's just no save there. If he has a BKB, maybe it's a different start, but... GG!
<laughs> DG is called apparently. So yeah, IG takes game one, which, you know, th there's some question marks about, you know, with the substitution and all for, for Ollie and whatnot that, you know, how strong will they be? But they did win the last major, even with 